July, 2054 AD. The Earth was caught in a great battle between unknown alien forces. Their weapons were terrifying and powerful beyond human reckoning. Our planet was overrun. Its surface reduced to ash and rubble in the blink of an eye. The Coalition government knew the war was coming. In response, they prepared the Earth Life Colonization Project, Project Exodus. Interstellar arcs were launched all across the planet, from every major city on Earth. Bravely, we leapt from our cradle, our home for the last four and a half billion years. But most of the arcs never even made it out of the atmosphere. Only a small handful managed to escape. Among them was our ship, the White Whale. After leaving Earth behind, we spent two years wandering in space, searching. We thought of ourselves as the lucky ones, the pioneers who would settle a new world. But our past caught up with us, literally. The alien blitz was unrelenting. If not for the efforts of a lone hero, we would never have survived. Our ship took heavy damage. We lost control. With our flight systems down, the White Whale was pulled into the gravitational field of a nearby planet, its hull shattering and breaking to pieces as we plummeted toward the surface. Since then, two months have passed. Attention, external access confirmed. Disengaging stasis in 10 seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Releasing hatch. Please stand clear. Hey there. Looks like you're all in one piece. Careful. Just take it nice and slow, okay? Your senses will need time to reactivate. Your pod is the only one around that landed intact. Good thing I found you. My name's Elma. You want to tell me yours? You don't even remember your own name? 
It must be the stasis hangover. That's not good. Just try and focus, all right? Good, there we go. What else you remember? It'll come. In the meantime, I'll get you up to speed here as best I can. How are your limbs? Can you move? We'll take it easy while you shake the stasis out of your system. One step at a time, all right? First things first, you'll be needing a weapon. There you go. All right, let's get going. Most of the white whale's life pods didn't survive the crash, like this one. You're one of the lucky few. Right. You don't even remember the white whale, do you? You know, the L002? The ship we escaped Earth on? You remember Earth, right? Planet Earth. Your homeworld. Or rather, it used to be anyway. Unfortunately, it was caught in a battle between two alien forces. And destroyed. Ring any bells? Don't feel bad. It's one memory I'd like to forget. I know. It's been following me for a while now. We didn't want to alarm you, but we're going to need to defend ourselves. You up to the task? not half bad. There's plenty of work back in the city for someone who knows how to handle a weapon, you know. Then you're interested. In that case, I might have just the job for you. But anyway, we can talk more details later. For now, let's keep moving. All right, that comes from experience. Like a new man. That's true on any planet. It's true on any planet.
man. That's true on any planet. The rain's starting to let up, just in time for sunrise. Follow me. I promise you're gonna love this. Wild, huh? They're all indigenous, as far as we can tell. We need to learn to play nice with these guys if we're going to try and coexist together. Call this planet Mira. You won't find it on any star chart. But it's our new home. Recognize the habitat unit? That's where we're headed. Watch yourself. That first step's a doozy. We can jump if you like. You could handle the fall. But the indigens down there are another story. Some big, some mean, all nasty. Given our options, the high road here would be the safer way to go, relatively speaking. That said, whichever way you want to go, I'll follow your lead. You decide.
Looks a lot bigger up close, doesn't it? And this was just the habitat unit. The White Whale was one hell of a ship. Until it all came crashing down, at least. That's the West Gate. It's closed off now for security reasons. But we've repurposed a freight elevator that will get us inside. Rex. Right. Can't leave them roaming here. Not this close to the gate. We're gonna have to take them down. You ready? It's a shame we had to settle near so much wildlife. Luckily, some species aren't so hostile, but they aren't necessarily friendly either. I've come to learn that there's a fine line between self-defense and provoking a fight. We need to walk that line. All right, let's head in. Who knows, maybe seeing the inside will jog your memory. Well, here we are. Not too shabby, huh? For a giant beached spaceship, anyway. But, like it or not, this place is our home now. We took the name from the city it was modeled after back on Earth. We call it New Los Angeles. Welcome to NLA. And so it was that another survivor came to join our band of refugees. Together, we resolved to forge a new way of life here on Mira, come what may. New LA was our beautiful lie to ourselves. Truth is, we were adrift, 
Heading into the unknown. Our native home was gone, swallowed in a shroud of light. And our future was uncertain. We had no idea what fate lay in store for us. Only that we had to keep living in order to see it. How about a quick tour of the facilities to refresh your memory? Let's start with your living quarters. Follow me. Brave citizens of New Los Angeles, good day. This is your Director General, Maurice Chausson. Today, I once again come to you with news I am truly delighted to share. Yesterday, we repatriated ten more White Whale crew members. These fellow pioneers will rejoin our ranks as citizens of Enel. That will bolster our ability to survive and indeed flourish here in our new home. Director this, General? Course, Since when? Two days ago, ma'am. From political aide to director general in just a few weeks. At this rate, he'll be emperor by next month. Irina, Gwyn, nice work out there, ma'am. Right, introductions. Irina Akulov, Gwyn Evans. This one of the survivors, Colonel? The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Starfall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? Come on, seriously? Shosan was never one to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Still, every last survivor counts. You can call me Arena. I'm with the Interceptors. Me too. Same division. You can call me Mr. Evans. Or just Gwyn. The three of us were in the Coalition forces together. Specifically, the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit. A.K.A. the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel, and Arena a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still colonel to me, ma'am. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command, either. It's about respect. You've earned it. And the award for best ass kiss goes to... Uh, <clears throat> Well, I'd remind you both the ma'ams aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time, Colonel. Right. We should be going, too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway. true on any planet.
Look, I know what exhaust smells like, and it was exhaust in the cockpit. Just check the ductwork, would you? Oh, I'm checking. I just seriously doubt. Hey, look at that. The intake exhaust bypass is reversed. Oh man, it's a good thing I caught that. You caught that? You're the one who cleared me to fly. Everything okay? It's not like you to flub a flight check, Lynn. Good thing you had a rugged pilot like Doug at the controls. Oh, hey, Elma. How'd it go out there? And would this be one of the you-know-whos? Cool. I'm Lynn Lee Koo, mechanic and top all-around fix-it gal for Blade. She's 13, and I know, she looks young, and she is young, but trust me, she's one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug, I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the scale. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! from up here. It beats walking, that's for sure. The best way to see NLA. I never get tired of this view. It's like a different city every time. It's certainly come a long way in the last few weeks. There's still so much to be done. One day at a time. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express tour? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New L.A. is divided into four districts. We departed from the Industrial District, where Doug and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, scale development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the Administrative District, but I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the planet. To your right, the residential district. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, plus a nice park and the cathedral. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, or want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the Administrative District, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. Note the distinct dual-level structure here. The upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government. Not to mention Armory Alley, as well as the barracks where we live. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and repairs. And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Lindley Airlines. 
Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. Here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I think I can answer that one. So, you must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi! Ms. Ku, chipper as always, I see. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? No. Nothing to worry about. Good. Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma, you found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, as for officially registering our new citizen here... Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a job right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember his name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. Well then, where should we begin? It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. I still wonder if I hadn't been there, if maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus and no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here, and we are alive. We survived. <laughs> 
So yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over two years wandering in space. Two hard years. But we clung to our mission, find a habitable planet, and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again, and, well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. They wanted humanity destroyed. For better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively new organization. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the Coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the Lifehold. Take a look at this. The White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis. All housed in a structure called the Lifehold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the Lifehold. Are in the Lifehold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But, there's a problem. We now know the Lifehold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Ah, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, and occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responsibilities. And hey, it's not all bad. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Ku, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district? Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. <laughs> 